Good afternoon, everyone. Good, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to uh, the Design Marathon Life Jam program. And this session is uh, from, imported from, from Thailand. And I am Mr. Hambali Jema uh, from Prince of Songkhla University, uh, Hadia Campus, uh, Thailand. Uh, the university is located actually in the south of Thailand, if uh, you may, may hear about um, our city. And now uh, I'm not coming as a speaker though. I will be a moderator for these sessions actually. And the sessions uh, for us today, it's about how art, technology and design inform the world. And there are four experts, four experts uh, in, in design and art who are joining these sessions. And they are from um, different universities in Thailand. And of course, they will share a lot of interesting projects and things related to design. Okay, uh, I, I am going to introduce uh, the first speaker. It's uh, Dr. Pailin Tha Won Uh Actually, yeah. she is uh, a full lecturer at Prince of Songkhai University International College and her expertise, of course, in, in visual art, especially in illustrations. And I, I think you better know her more while her talking about her project, I think. And the second one is another honored speaker, and he's very popular in Thailand also, uh, Ajahn Ratip Am Tieng Trong. He's a, the I'm professional sorry. trainer. Actually, he it's a very uh, expertise in sales and marketing and service business. But you can see today, you will be surprised how he's really good at uh, design art also. And the third one for the third sessions today, another Anna guest uh, speaker. Uh, he. His, his work is uh, it's really interesting and you, you, you might be like uh, surprised with his project uh, because I, I don't know, have you heard about anything about like um, uh, community-based tourism like that? But today you will hear and uh, learn and then share from Ajahn Ratip Am Cheng Trong today. And the last session, or the last honor speaker today, uh, he's from Serbia. He's Dimitri Serkic. Uh, he's actually now a uh, full lecturer at Pnaf Songkhai University International College Hundred also. So for today, I think we better start from the first, from the first speaker. But I want to remind you. Ajahn Ma Samrit is this here. I think you forgot me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One more, one more. Just only three, right? Okay. Ajahn Ma Samrit. Oh, how can I like forget Ajahn Ma Samrit? Because Ajahn Ma Samrit, Pa Supa, it's. He is. A very, a very impressive one because you know he's even he is an academic, he is a sound artist also, and a music composer and alternative media designer. Even he, even you know like um the design and drawing and art like that. But today you will see differently. The art 
in term of music and anything related to that you might be surprised for sure i i really sorry to 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 uh to left uh one honor speaker and he's also a very popular one in thailand also okay to remind the audience today i think uh actually we have we have a uh, plan to have a Q&A for each session, but I think we better finish uh, the whole program, like four speakers first, and each speaker will talk about their project 20 minutes, and they will uh, go to the next one and the third and the last one. After everyone have done their own um, presentations, I will let everyone have the Q&A session, but why talking or why sharing? You can just leave any message or any question you want to ask uh, the experts and our speakers today. Shall we start from Dr. Pailin Tawon, which is, I'm passing the yes, microphone sure. to her. Okay, um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm the first one who are um, present about the things um, that relate to my PhD research. So you can see on the topic. So uh, Ajahn Wei, thank you Ajahn Wei to introduce me today. Um, before we start um, about my topic, so I'm going to share the video about the the research area that I have been, you know, research for five years in Thailand. So you can imagine uh, how this place look like. And uh, so after that, I will, you know, give a presentation about in the details. Okay. Okay, um, and that one um, actually is the research area. 
um, I have been doing my research for five years and collecting the leaves because the research area is called Khao Nam Khang National Park. It's a huge forest that very close to Malaysia and is located in the south of Thailand. Uh, um, if you look in the back, so um, I went there with the, the staff, um, National Park staff, and we go that together. And at first, because I didn't know um, what is the object I want to study. And, you know, after I explore that area and I think, okay, because the weather, because the environment of this area is quite interesting. And also it has, you know, this forest is just, um, it was closed for more than 40 years because the political issue. And after that, it's just open again for the public. But I think it's not popular because it has some kind of political issue. But now I think, okay, this is a good start to research and present that area for the people in the society. And, you know, the first time I just collect the leaves, just dry leaves um, and see the details. So I try to decode my, um, that I try to decode and make a drawing like a collection of drawing from from the forest so you can see my drawing that i decode the visual elements from many kinds of leaf from that area and because um i have specific um place that i study so i i made a methodology diagram to explain in an easy way um the first one is the forest so i choose National Park in Thailand to be the main research area. And after that, um, like I said before, because the forest is a huge area, so I need to, to pick something. So I think leaves is a small object, but you know, leaves can um, explain more about the forest. So I choose to study the leaves by analyze the data from the leaves. And after that, um, I got some very interesting data collection that contain shape, form, winds, and texture, also the colors from the leaves. And because it's a PhD project, so um, I try to experiment with the theory that I think is related to my topic. So I choose Fibonacci sequence and our system to try to experiment and use in my artwork. And for sure, for final outcome, um, I like to, you know, explore in the illustration artwork. So I think visual communication design specific in illustration will be a good outcome to explore, like create a new visual and the result of research. So I expect to build up the awareness and talking about climate change to the society and in the public for you know for the young generation to respect the nature more than nowadays and scope of my research is just you know it has only three topics that you can see now the number one i choose the leaves to study visual elements and I choose the forest, the national park, Khao Nam Khang National Park, uh, to be the main area for studying. And visual communication design uh, is my main expertise. So, so I choose it to create the illustration to talking about climate change, the environment, to build up the awareness to the world. So um, for sure, um, in terms of objectives, um, I have four objectives in my research. Number one is just to establish significance of nature from studying elements of leaf and collect and analyze the visual elements of leaves as a data collection book. And after that, um, I use the visual elements to create the illustration combined with the theory, Fibonacci theory and L system principle to build up the awareness uh, about the forest conservation and climate change to the society. And this is my process. 
the first thing. So I collecting the data focused on the leaves. So you can see I use just, uh, you know, I collect some more than, I think more than 50 leaves from National Park and took a photograph of it and see the details, you know, inside in each leaves, it has like the hidden part of visual elements. So you can see because in the south of Thailand, we have just two seasons. The first season is summer season. So this is the collection of leaves in summer season. So you can see by the color of it, it's quite vivid and in a warm tone. And another one, this one is um, from rainy season. The color is changed to green because it has a lot of rain and it has a lot of water in that area. So it's very interesting to you know explore the visual elements in each season as well. And after that, after I collect the data from, you know, from that area, I try to decode the visual elements from the leaves. And you can see I, I, I use the program to see uh, in each leaf have how many visual elements are. And I got like the shapes, blanch, rain, you know, the texture in each one and also the colors that appear in each leaf. And, you know, I sum up all the information. So for summer season, I've got like 20 rain, uh, 23 rain, sorry. And so you can see it's very beautiful in details and it look like something that I can use in my design. And another one is rainy season. So the leaves when is quite different, but also uh, I will try to experiment in the next stage. Because I think it has similarity in leaves when with the space and map. So I think, okay, this is uh, a good opportunity to create a good artwork for making like the landscape that talking about the climate change. So um, I experiment and this is the first collection of my work. So I create like um, the illustration that tell about rainy leaves, like in the rainy season. So you can see like I pick uh, one leaf to experiment and put the visual elements to create the artwork um, about rainy season is a lot of water. So you can see like many uh, stream and waterfall inside. And another one is um, represent the summer season and summer season in the national, national park area is quite beautiful because it's full of uh, flowers, insect, animals. So I create this one to make a different environment and the viewer can notice, you know, the blooming season. So you can see the wind, you can smell um, the flower that blooming in the summer. So this is the first collection of my work. And because um, in PhD sometimes, not sometimes, it's always, sorry. <laughs> uh, we need uh, theory and principle to apply and support the ideas of create artwork. And I choose Fibonacci sequence because Fibonacci is a um, you know, perfect um, proportion that I can apply to create to, to create my artwork. And also it's, um, it has like a beginning from the nature and it's connect with the human as well. So this one is quite good to, you know, to apply the good proportion to create the artwork. And because um, for hand drawing, I know myself that I can create a good hand drawing, but for, you know, for the thing like motion graphic, projector mapping and AR, it's a new thing, it's a new technology that you can't avoid for nowadays. So I think, okay, this is a good challenge to combine between hand drawing and the new technology uh, into my research. And so you can see, I apply the Fibonacci sequence to divide my work in three parts. The first part is talk about uh, the forest and human. 
the way that human, you know, try to use the resources from the forest. And after that, the thing is changed, the time changing, and the people just destroy everything. They de destroy the forest and build up the city instead. And for the last part, um, I show like a sum up of my research that, okay, this is um, the highlight one. Uh, we need to respect the nature because the nature is a mother of the earth. So my work will, you know, combine three story in the illustration. And you can see the process like, okay, I start with using the recycled paper to create the landscape drawing by hand and use just only a pen to draw all the details that I got from the visual elements of leaves. And after that, I developed my work, you know, because I have a chance to, um, to collaborate with Swinburne University of Technology, Melbourne, Australia, uh, because I got the scholarship from Thai government to research with them. And it's a good opportunity to develop from hand drawing to be like um, with the new technology. And for this picture, you will see like the last part of my work that I try to record with uh, the GoPro because I record in a uh, time lab to see how 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 was going along the way when I I draw something on the paper. So this is a good question because our topic today because I study about nature and I try to add the design and technology into my work. So the outcome will be um you know combine everything like okay. I try to experiment with projector mapping. And if you see in the picture, that is the expert from um, the team in Swinburne. Um, we work together and try to develop, uh, to put like projector mapping and put the motion graphic into my drawing. So you can see in the blank space, we try to fit in the motion graphic with projector mapping into hand drawing. And this is um, it's, um, quite a difficult part because I met like a chef that need to fit in um, uh, into the drawing so the line can continue and when the viewer see, so they can see like, okay, this is hand drawing, but inside the motion graphic, it will be a different story inside. And yeah, this one is the same because it's talking about the climate change. I will show, you know, all the motion graphic artwork after I show the pictures. And for final outcome, I set up like installation that people, the audience can get involved so, it, so they can, you know, spend time and see hand drawings that divide in three parts. And after that, uh, they they will see like okay they have motion graphic inside my hand drawing and so you can see sometimes the people just come to see my work and some people just okay they sat on the floor and see the details inside the hand drawing and some of them just okay they want to see motion graphic. So I need to make a balance, you know, between using the motion graphic and hand drawing. So I think this is quite important because traditional hand drawing um, is um, something that people, sometimes the young generation just want to ignore it and they just want to use just only the program. But, you know, if you can combine it, it can be like um, a good things to present as well, in my opinion. And this is the prototype of um, my hand drawing with um, motion graphic and the AR. And uh, I will show you the, the whole things in my work. 
Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, this is um, my final outcome that I make um, like a landscape drawing that divide in three parts with uh, applying Fibonacci into my work. The first part will show the beginning of the nature like the plant cell, the visual elements from the leaves and how the leaves, um, you know, turn to the forest. And in the second part, the audience will gain the knowledge about, okay, if we destroy the nature, what is gonna be like the problem for us? So this part will show up the climate change things like the landslide, the flooding, you know, that change our life nowadays. And for the last part, um, because I want to show up the power of nature. That's why I try to use um, all of the visual elements from the nature into my work. Um, and that is, um, you know, for overall of the my work. And okay, let's come back to see the screen again. Mm. And um, I think this is an AR that I try to, you know, try to develop more. So it means it's not just only projector mapping that I use for my work, but also um, I develop the motion graphic and use the AR, the augmented reality to my work too. It means when the viewer go to see my work, they can download the application and they can use their mobile phone to see the real motion graphic from um, their mobile phone in the real time. So it's a good thing to explore, I think. And, and for this one, um, because I have a chance to develop my project with the Swinburne team, and we try to, you know, propose and create a prototype of interactive media exhibition that um, we hope to show in the Melbourne Design Week in the next year. But because pandemic and COVID-19, so everything stopped. And, um, but it's good, you know, to set up this kind of thing. So this kind of interactive exhibition will make a new experience for, for the viewer to see, to see the real place and they can use like AR and walk along the way to see it. And also um, we try to collaborate with other artists like the paper artists and also uh, some programmer to build up this kind of exhibition. Um, I think um, uh, when the uh, pandemic uh, passed away, maybe we can, you know, set up this kind of exhibition in the future. And also um, for the viewer who are watching um, the broadcast right now, so um, about my project, um, I think, because I study about the nature and I combine with technology and with design. So I think it's a good chance for young designer to, you know, to develop something that you show up about your idea to save the world or to talking about the community, to talking about the climate change. And if you want to know more about my research and my other works, because I have a short time to present. I have other guests after me. So you can visit my website at worldwidewebtpborn.com or you can email me after, after this. Um, and so I can answer all the questions you have. And thank you and che che. ka.
Okay. Um, I think um, Ajahn Wei disappeared. <laughs> and um, it's okay. So um, I think uh, Ajahn Ratip is the next one. Uh, he is going to present his research um, about tourism economy and community. Ajahn Ratip, are you ready? Okay, so I will pass my yes, to you. Uh, already. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 So you, you you see my screen, right? Uh, Not right. yet. Oh, okay, got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is my honor to be here and for uh, to, uh, for twenty minutes, right? Okay. Uh, next, uh, I will show you about it from Dr. Pai Helen uh, about the focus on the nature. Very very impressive uh, about the nature. Very amazing. The, uh, the nature is all around you and all around us, okay? So my topic is applied survey design for community-based tourism. It's related for uh, the nature also. Okay, uh, my name's Naratip Amphingtong. So I work as a subcommittee on sustainable tourism, House of Representative of Thailand. Now I'm uh, a PhD candidate in the Sci Art Faculty of the Creative Arts Silapakon University. Uh, I really, really love for the service management and service development and design. I love local. I love uh, how can joy between rural and urban. I love marketing and branding also. And my field of expertise is focusing on community-based tourism development and tourism product design and creative tourism development. Okay. Uh, the, problem of, uh, the problem statement of my work, as uh, as we know, the Thailand's government policy is focusing on the stability of the country and the sustainable wealth and sustainability and increasing the number. Also, um, I found about the increasing uh, number of community-based tourism or CBT in Thailand. The importance, I saw about the importance of CBT or community-based tourism. So I can call it as CBT for um, Thailand's GDP community and co community, Thailand's GDP and community. And I saw the Mount CBT having a significant role in the Thai uh, economy that the resident or the, uh, the local people can earn income uh, from the CBT or community-based tourism as a land managers entrepreneurs so they can transform uh, we can transform them by the cbt development uh, from uh, the local people to and uh, entrepreneurs and employees and uh the the mini guide uh, like this and service and product provider so as we know the cbt and creative tourism what is cbt CBT is a form of a tourism allow resident focusing on the resident to invite another to invite tourists to invite a traveler to visit the local community or their places with the provision keyword is the provision of accommodation and activity. So we found about the good thing to uh, realize about my work is this on the creative tourism also from Christian Raymond and Greg Richard in 2000 and they uh, found and they defined about uh, creative tourism that offer the visitors or the traveler um, the opportunity to develop their creative potential, focusing on uh, active participation in course and learning station or the learning experience in characteristic, characteristic of the holiday destination where they are taken. So you, you, you know this CBT and creative tourism is uh, really go together when uh, the local people or the local community can build about the local tourism also. The CBT and creative tourism will uh, help them and uh, will uh, show them about the, how they can build the local community to be at uh, the local tourism also. So um, I will show you about the Thailand, Thailand of 
uh, Tourism Authority of Thailand. So, sorry, uh, they have a uh, this is campaign for promote for the international and open to the new shape. That means uh, this is a big campaign of TAT or Tourism Authority of Thailand. So TAT or Tourism Authority of Thailand focus and segment um, the tourism product then so variety such as you can enjoy you find a new you you find uh, you will open to the new shades by local tourism or by tourism so you can uh, know more about the agriculture tourism you know more about gastronomy tourism know more about uh, the spiritual tourism and this you can see sansan tourism and you can uh, find about new local product uh, by you and can design by yourself like this. I think that the value of the tourism is very, very important today. So next is a is a one of the government unit in Thailand. Okay. Uh, it's Community Development Department or CDD. In CDD or Community Development Department, uh, they have uh, developed about the autopilot. Autop what is OTOP? OTOP means one tambon, one product. One tambon, one product. Tambon is mean sub district. That means sub district, one sub district, one product. It's like over from Japan. Over from Japan is mean Isong Iping. Isong is Isong Iping is just one village, one place, and one product. Or Vietnam have a uh, one community, one product. Laos have a uh, one OTOP. Or one district, one product. It's all of us. It's very, very interesting about uh, all of the countries, every country. So I, I think more than um, 30 countries have a, pro, uh, in a local product development also like this. So my research topic is focusing on the creative tourism development through survey design, a case study of community based tourism of Ban Pangha. Pangha, Ban Pangha is mean Pangha village. At Chiang Rai province. So this is uh, the problem statement that I found about uh, my study. CBT, C, CBT generates more benefit and value creation for the community resulting in a direct positive impact, direct positive impact on the grassroots. It's very, very important. Uh, and as you know, on the UN or the Sustainable Development Goals or SDG, it is forecasting a uh, one of uh, one of uh, uh, variety points is focusing on sustainability and inclusive tourism. Okay, uh, they have a uh, social. So I thought about the the in in inequality about the social inequality, income and opportunity inequality too, between rural and urban. That's why I interest this topic because um, they. There is an important question. How can we make the, the communities sustainable and self immunity How can uh, decide can help them to be a professional local development and professional local design or professional local management? I will put the survey design theory to help them. Okay. Okay. Let's see about uh, my research object to examine the insight of the Thai tourists to what CBT and creative tourism. We identify the problems and to develop a survey design for creative tourism also. So this is Thailand, as you know, uh, that have a sep uh, separated at a, at a central part, north part and northeast ways, at, at the six part in the east and the south like this. I will compare, I, I'll go to site visit and comparison for uh, 11 sites and I will make a strength and weakness analysis for uh, 11 sites that I chose Ban Pang Ha, Chiang Rai because it have a, just one village, you know, just one village, but they have a variety a community capital and variety culture because it ha they have a huge tribe in, in just one village, they have a okay. Uh, when be, be before I decide about the service uh, for the local, I will uh, focusing on the local community, uh, local capital. The local capital is very very important. This is my model. I, I applied it from the CDD or Community Development Department of Thailand. It's a, as I told you, uh, this is one of the uh, important government unit that develop um, their own theory to community development as the local com 
uh, local capital. You have uh, five local capital. The first is a uh, natural capital. The second is a social capital. Is the third is a uh, physical capital and human capital. And the last one is a financial capital. I will uh, focusing on the local. This is a base. This is a basement of uh, my mindset to uh, go to another community for development like this. I will uh, I will survey ab about all of the local capital in uh, every site. Okay, I will choose about the Ban Bang Ha Chiang Rai. Okay, Chiang Rai just have a lot of uh, a lot of physical. Uh, capital or a lot of natural capital also such as a spiritual capital uh, such as natural capital like this that have a human cap capital like this okay this is ban pang ha this is my site this is a uh, princess mahaja greasy uh, uh went there and interest about the mulberry paper so they uh so so the lo local people and uh this Village they have uh, all over the value chain and um, uh, they have a uh, uh, a lot of story okay and a lot of creative tourism station like this and you can uh, design by your own the marble uh, by the marble paper they have a workshop for the children a workshop for the celebrity and go there and this is a uh, in innovation from this local. Is it golden? You see, this is a golden sheet mask weaved by silkworm. Okay, this, this is a silkworm, but the silkworm can uh, weave it and the sheet mask and they develop it to uh, the, the product and the signature product. They have a pattern of this product already. That uh, this is a local intellectual property. So they decide to do to, uh, the new service here. Uh, this is uh, the candle making station. This is a one. Uh, this is a one of the famous brand of a candle in Thailand. It's located on this site, located on this small village. It's amazing. This is a jade statue making station. Okay. This is a knife beating station, knife making, knife house, knife making station. You know, so all of the knife that they beating and they they uh they show you at the beating and they get you to um to be to be together with him with the, the philosopher of knife house. All of the iron that the raw material to the knife is a uh, circular from uh the old garage or old uh. Is a made from the the uh, the spring the, the spring of a uh, of the car of the spare part of the car is a waste of the garage. They bring all of the waste of the garage and iron waste to beating and to be and turn to be a new product to the knife like this. So this is a very very uh, necessary for this social issue. It's a circular economy. This is organic guava. Okay, this is tobacco curing house. This is a traditional sweet meat. It, uh, we call lokna. Panom lokna is mean uh, traditional sweet meat and uh, traditional charcoal making, traditional transportation by tractors like this. Okay. Uh, the side problem is uh, first local participation and linkage professionally and value added to, for tourism and local product and the marketing and branding. So uh, I show I will show you about uh, I will show you about this. The travelers, the result from the traveler have a new insight about creative tourism. First, they need to be uh, uh, they need to learn more about authenticity. Next, sustainable tourism. Next, customized experience. Next, local learning. And next, travel to feel good. So the fo foreigner or the tourist or the traveler can share about the English. Uh, language or the local people can share about the Thai language. They exchange about the knowledge and they exchange, uh, they show about the experiences also. This is very, very good time to get uh, an IT savvy. It is uh, focusing on the travel application like this. Okay, so uh, I applied from the survey design method as a Francisco Mazzarella. Okay, so you see the process of the survey design. The pro uh, the I, I think this is my on my opinion, the, uh, the necessary process of the survey design is empathy, 
okay, to learn more inside and learn more about the needs and want of the travelers and the needs and want of the supply and the local people also. I will discover and I will decide about the problems. I will decide and uh, I, I will define and decide and or develop and deliver and launch my model. This is my methodology uh, to workshop about tourists, about selected tourists like this. Tourists inside and define about the customer journey. Uh, the, the customer journey is very, very important for the survey design topic. They will show me about uh, how they uh, connect and uh, how they communicate to the local people like this. All of, all of them is focusing on the review as you know, the review is very, very important. Okay, the, okay, and I will uh, find a value network map. One of the necessary thing of the service design is the stakeholder map and the network map. I will define about the first tier stakeholder of Ban Pang Ha, and uh, in that green box is a is a first tier partner or the first tier stakeholder. In the blue box is a second tier, and you. Uh, and we must to uh, must uh, show how related about first tier and second tier like this. The, the first tier is the people in the local uh, place and the school, community station, restaurant, homestay, temple. And the uh, uh, next is a uh, uh, the second tier is the government unit, travel agent, key opening leader, or KOL and blocker, and hotel and uh, intermediaries and exporters and university and researcher transportation and media also. So uh, my research process and next, uh, I will define the customer journey. And next I decide, uh, I will define about the basic key element that, uh, that the, and follow the needs and the want of a traveler. They're focusing on the way of life. They need to learn more about the natural, the way of life, the people, accommodation, food, transportation, the vehicle, uh, and safety and security. Uh, very, very important today, safety and security, especially after COVID era. It's safety and security or the hygiene. Hygiene is very important also, as you know. Uh, the activity, the guide signs for the sport and traditional job. I separated it as a positive uh, feeling and negative feeling also, okay, like this. And I will put all, uh, all the factors into the map. Okay, like this. Okay, the last one I will show you about uh, my model. I com I accomplished my model and taste my model already. So uh, from my uh, study, uh, empathy and sympathy, and my uh, site analysis, okay, and uh, expert opinion survey and met my methodology. Okay, I will show you about my end result as my model is PPMM model. PPMM model is, what is PPMM model? The first is a people development. It's PPMM is very, very necessary function of a, a tourist development design like this and the survey design for the local tourism. First, people development. Next is product development. And M is management development. And the last one is marketing development. The people development very really, really important is focusing on the knowledge and train trainer have a trainer of the guide have a circular economy development mindset put into the people development uh, the product development is focused such as um standard and uh, quality service design service and product development and capital community and various of the tourism product management development uh, is focusing on the it innovation put to the local and at my identity, not over, not take another identity, but I have uh, some con constraint, uh, a con condition of my model is uh, focusing on identity only. Management development and marketing development is, I mean, collaborative branding, can channel, omni channel, uh, revisit intention, good experience sharing. Okay. The output can, uh, from the survey design is authenticity, professional management, employment, and good community. You know, the survey design can create employment also, uh, the quality of life, the environmentally friendly tourism activity, the good communication, internal and external service, excellent, good experience delivery, tourist delight, 
all of it, I call the value of the survey design for creative tourism in community like this. Okay, uh, I would uh, I would take about the basic knowledge data from uh, community development department. I will find about the, de the demographic or the lifestyle data like this. I will show about the recommendation. It's a 10, 10 saw. Saw is in, in, in the Thai word. Okay, I will show, do, show, show you for, for a moment. This is a recommendation gained from uh, my, my new recommendation from the research and adjustment of post COVID 19 for CBT or creative tourism survey design guideline. The first is mean soup. So uh, the local people can mean uh, the soup is mean happiness. So they create the happiness as tangibility. The second is Sa'at. Sa'at is mean hygiene, but hygiene can be tangible also. And be a show the local people and the show the traveler that, okay, uh, our places can be hygiene, our places can cleanliness like this, and the show them tangibility. As the next side, Sai is mean empathy. Empathy about uh, the personal hygiene, personal activity, personal service. Because as you know, after uh, the post-COVID uh, for tourism, it's the next uh, next one year or then next two, two years, something. Uh, they're focusing on the high quality tourism. It's a social distancing like this. So it's side or empathy is very, very important like this. Good, uh, that bring good experience for the customer for, or for the traveler. Number four, it's song mob is mean deliver the impressive experience. Number five, it's sing well long is mean the environment uh, and the nature can uh, the design can help them to manage or manipulate them professionally. And the six is some pun, some pun is mean relationship about and society establishing cooperation uh, to another partner or another um, stakeholder like this. Number seven is Subsan. Subsan is continuity of the original traditions. It's very important to uh, maintain the uh, sustainability of the traditional uh, or the uh, sustainability for the maintain about the charm of the local people and the local places. And the number eight is Susan. It means good communication and communication design can help them to be uh, good communication or the uh, communication professionally to another travelers or another stakeholder. So in the nine is a sane, it means charm. That is different from identity to define the form of understanding and find the positioning, which uh, would be delivered into the feeling of the customer or the traveler. And the last one is number 10, it's mean, uh, siang, it means the risk. As you know, after this time, we will concern about the risk management more than the past. Okay, So the local community or the local places can concern and realize about the risk planning or the risk management also. Okay, so this is my recommendation to them. So how can my survey design and how can my work inform the world? Okay, I uh, will show the world, I will inform the world the, the importance of the beauty of nature local from uh, such a piece of light, Ajahn Thailin. Okay, as a previous topic, the beauty of nature local that we can maintain and we can continue to, to save it. And the value of the happiness and experience is very, very important and price sometimes, okay? The value of the happiness and experience is very, very important. Next, can you form the world, can show the sustainable tourism, you can be the sustainable traveler also. So you can be help them and the tourism can help the world, high quality tourism management to high quality traveler also. So the tourism can inform the world that they can help the circular, uh, the world as a circular economy with the CBT and creative tourism also can help them. The last one is responsible tourism. So every road of uh, tourism can be go to one destination. It's mean responsible tourism that I can inform the world that you and me can help together and to create this. Okay, thank you very much for my section. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, um, uh, Ajahn Anaratip. It's such uh, an, an interesting uh, talk. And let's go to the third 
honored speakers for today. Please welcome uh, Ajahn Mat Samrit Pasupa. I'm oh, sorry for my for my my computer is not. <laughs> it's okay. fine. Wait, wait a second. All right, lovely. All right. Uh, oops. Oh. Uh, give me a second. Sorry, I cannot click. Okay, finally. Anyone see this? See my presentation. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. Good. Um, good evening, everybody. My, uh, good evening. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Masim Rit. Uh, so I start with a boring part about myself. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm a lecturer, music producer, and sound artist as well. Um, yeah, the boring part is yeah education background. Um, sorry, I should click on screen. All right. Um, I got a BFA in, com in communication design at KMUTT, and um, my MA is my, my master is uh, from uh, um, is university uh, MA in uh, master of art in sonic art. Oh. I think he has some problem with his laptop. No, my face all over the screen. So he disappeared? Just wait for a while, he's coming. Okay. But uh, for, for the ones who want to ask or leave any questions please feel free to leave the questions we are the um, youtube chat and then uh, we'll get back to the questions and answer the questions later after uh, the last honor speaker have done uh the talk I think, uh, shall we go to Dimi? Yeah, I think so. To run mm -hmm. the program. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think, I, so. I think yeah. we can change uh, so, to Ajahn Mat Samrit Pasupa later after the Dimi. Okay, please welcome uh, the next honor speaker, Dimitri Sakit. Thank you very much. Let me share my screen. Audio. Okay. So, hello, everybody. My name is Dimitri Churchic. I know it's very hard to spell my name, but uh, I would like to uh, just mention that uh, my Russian version of name would be uh, Dimitri, so it's easier or even shorter Dimi. Uh, I'm full-time lecturer in uh, Prince of Sankle University International College. Uh, I've been working in industry, in design industry, uh, as a professional graphic designer for the past 10 years in Singapore, Serbia, Indonesia, and now in Thailand, uh, I have opportunity to uh, uh, to start uh, my career in education and at the same time uh, stay in industry through academic service or uh, freelance projects. Uh, today I'm going to share about one of my projects that are uh, as project itself is uh, not so special as for myself actually that is very important uh, for my further development. Uh, this project uh, is called From Dream to Reality. It is uh, 
uh, dedicated to anniversary of uh, crucial uh, events in history during 16th, 17th century, crucial events uh, for Europe and for independence of Serbia. So uh, uh, in Serbia, in Novi Sad, uh, in National Gallery, there was a big event uh, celebrating uh, cultural life, uh, beginning of cultural life in Serbia and beginning of uh, independent uh, Serbian state. Uh, for this event, there were many uh, people hired to do their parts. So my part was very small. It's actually one tiny part that uh, involves uh, motion graphic, mixed motion graphic and animation, frame by frame animation. Uh, requirements for this exhibition was to everything to be crafted actually uh, mixing techniques from starting with traditional drawings until uh, vector graphics and uh, digital paintings uh, also uh, project brief was basically to introduce in two minutes uh, very briefly extremely briefly uh, people with uh, events that were uh, as i said crucial for uh, global European culture and after that for uh, Serbian people. Uh, during Ottoman Empire, uh, it was very hard time for people to struggle with uh, all those uh, uh, regulations. Excuse and, me, Jimmy. Sorry, sorry for interrupt you. Uh, we can't see the screen. Can you share the screen again, please? Sorry. Uh, we, we can't see the, the sharing screen from you. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry for yeah. that. Yeah, we, we, we are just, you know, just wonder why you, can you, you know. Can you see now? Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will just continue. Thank you, Thank you and sorry. Okay, no problem. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just talk to the walls. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so this... Uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, playing video and I will talk along along the way uh, so you can see because the project is basically uh, graphic in motion and uh, I found it would be more suitable whole presentation to be in motion. So uh, as I said before, uh, project involved uh, multiple disciplines where I had opportunity to uh, implement uh, traditional drawing and and uh, uh, experience from traditional drawing and uh, from my design experience. Uh, regarding traditional drawing, I will mention uh, later on my background is actually fine arts. I uh, graduated in uh, Fine Arts Academy in Novi Sad in Serbia. Also post-graduation studies at back in time, uh, we call that post-graduation studies. Nowadays, we call this uh, m m not master, but it's like something like half PhD. So it's not PhD, but it's like half PhD. Never mind. Uh, uh, as I said before, uh, this project was uh, quite important for me because it triggers something that I abandoned for, for the past 10 years. Okay, so when I finished, uh, when I graduated in academy, I basically I've been working as full-time uh, artist for from 2003 until 2010. Then 2011, I actually came to Singapore and uh, I started officially in uh, working in industry. Before I was working in Serbia, but uh, now I started uh, working in industry uh, abroad. Uh, yeah, so uh, in this project, I'm mixing uh, frame by frame animation uh, requirements for the projects were not so particular. It was uh, pretty much about my freedom to do uh, visual language uh, according to what I think was suitable for this event. But this event is all about uh, uh, documentary and historical uh, facts 
exposed in form of uh, different photographs, uh, original documents, uh, even some uh, uh, examples of armors and, and weaponry from that time, from those events. Uh, so the animation is starting basically with a siege of Vienna in 1683. Uh, there was a big siege of Vienna, uh, Ottoman Empire attack Austrian Empire and, and in, uh, that was a two months siege and the uh, Austrian army was not strong enough actually to defend. And eventually those winged soldiers that you can see now uh, are Polish army who helped uh, to free these, those territories. And after that, uh, Austrian army uh, defend all this territory. Uh, Turkish forces, actually Ottoman Empire forces, they, uh, they went to retreat. During that retreat, there was a terrible disease and then Austrian army retreat again. But uh, all those events basically are uh, beginning of something that is very important for uh, our country and actually not only our country, but the whole Balkan territory. What you can see now are also uh, interactive maps. Basically, those are uh, maps in forms of in form of motion graphic that are the only interactive moment is uh, when people touch specific uh, map route, then uh, uh, animation plays from uh, beginning until the end to show people moving of Serbian forces during that time, how they free, how they uh, liberate all those uh, territories. Uh, so yeah, this project is is uh, basically, uh, I can say, is one of the many projects that I did uh, uh, before. But for important part for me is the next part I, I will talk about, and that leads us to uh, the title of my presentation, which is uh, observational. Uh, drawing to uh, formulae creation. So uh, during those, during this research, yeah, I did uh, pretty much big visual research. So this is uh, animation. I will play animation first, so you can see what is all this about. And you have English subtitle. Uh, Thank you. 
Okay, I will pause uh, for a minute. So, uh, uh, as I said, uh, this project is, uh, I just give my small, small contribution, but the uh, event was quite big. Uh, our president actually attended this event, so uh, we can say it's pretty much big deal. But uh, what was important for me is part that uh, inspired me to do my personal work, my self project, basically starting with uh, uh, traditional drawings and then later on will be developed. So uh, I'm saying will be developed because it's still in process. So you will see uh, drawing studies that I made based on uh, visual studies from this project uh, are basically something that trigger uh, my imagination to create this uh, kind of formulaic creation. Formulaic creation is, uh, in simple words, is uh, a drawing from imagination. So from observational uh, drawing that I use for this animation, uh, I've been developing something in traditional drawing that later on i will convert into digital i will process digitally into digital paintings uh, vector graphics uh, it will be maybe uh, animated parts uh, but uh, most importantly it will end up with a concept art most likely for game environment that i will uh, convert into uh, tutorials for uh, my students and for my teaching strategy, which is actually my main mission, my life mission now, to create something uh, that uh, will allow me to share personal experience of uh, creative process uh, to students and also uh, to find a way how to uh, use technology to motivate uh, students to learn how to draw. Drawing is really not easy. It's really uh, uh, overwhelming sometimes, especially when you're a beginner and uh, you simply don't know how to start. And you, there are plenty of tutorials, how they teach you. And basically all those tutorials are the same. Uh, they're telling same things on different way. Uh, what is important for me is uh, to show some uh, elements of creative process that will uh, show students that uh, it's possible to make your own creation. Uh, uh, you can see some uh, studies, those are some uh, anatomy studies that I did for the character design. So the concept art that I mentioned, uh, I will develop is actually related to environment, uh, basically, architecture and, and all other elements from environment that could uh, serve as uh, game assets and also character design uh, and uh, putting all this together uh, would be something that uh, I emphasize uh, regardless of trends nowadays that um, we I guess we all know about Vikings and about uh, 300 movie. Uh, it's uh, those are very popular uh, motives for for the game. But uh, this period of history is uh, particularly inspiring for me because we don't see much of that in movies and games. There are some movies made about siege of vienna but it's uh, far from from uh, popular so i want to uh, introduce this portion of history uh, not only to students but uh, to people because uh, later on 
I wish to make exhibition of traditional artworks related to this topic. Those two handsome guys that you see now are, this is my friend and me next to my painting. Those paintings are uh, from my last solo exhibition 2010 in Belgrade. Uh, uh, this part is uh, just for you guys to see my uh, I can say past life, my fine fine arts uh, part of life, where I was uh, involved as a full time artist. I was involved in many art colonies, uh, group exhibitions, and uh, solo exhibitions. So those paintings are this one particular, particularly is inspired by Seven Deadly Sins, and also uh, heavily influenced by uh, Movie Seven and uh paintings are basically represent some uh kind of imaginary billboards that are showing a hidden message behind all those happy images that we see in uh billboards nowadays in in uh also it's motivated by that kind of environmental pollution uh uh paintings uh, if I can say my style, then uh, I would say that my style is influenced heavily by Baroque art and at the same time with the subculture movements in music, uh, fine arts, uh, comic books, uh, concept art, Frank Frazetta, one of my favorite at that time. Uh, so basically <clears throat> my aim now is to combine, to compile all experience that I derived from fine arts, that, that I uh, derived from uh, applied arts, which is uh, basically design, and put it all together and make a big series which, which I can uh, extend uh, over and over again and uh, share my experience with the uh, new generations uh, I will be extremely uh, happy if that that kind of creative process that I sh I'm sharing with students will be useful for them and for their uh, future career. Uh, uh, I, I was never concerned too much about categorizing uh, my work, whether is it is it belong to fine arts or is it belong to illustration or is it belong to to design. Uh, basically, uh, back in my time, uh, students in my class actually they, they have strange mindset about what is commercial and what is real art. You know, so, so commercial is considered something uh, uh, like cheap sensation for all people to like, and my my art, real art, is something that is. Uh, that is understandable only for selected people, which is actually wrong mindset. Because uh, if we if we uh, go back in time, basically all Renaissance Baroque art was commercial. Not only that, but uh, the most important thing is to to be uh, as honest as possible and to put put your heart into your work on that way it doesn't matter is it commercial or is it not commercial it matters that it's good that this is only what matters uh, so uh, to wrap it up starting from small projects one of the many projects there is maybe is nothing special starting from that and coming to something that uh, I can mark as my comeback to fine arts, but uh, more like combining everything together into a future project that uh, I will be more than happy to share with you uh, next time, maybe next year. And uh, sure, 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 yeah. Amy. <laughs> okay, so uh, can I keep it short? I would I would finish because my video is finished. You can only see this sumo guy. Yeah. Okay. You can have. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. One or two minutes. Yeah, I'm done. 
<laughs> okay. Thank, thank you, you Dini. It was such a very wonderful talk. And I, I think now uh, Ajahn Masamrit uh, is ready for um, his talk. And please welcome again uh, Ajahn Masamrit uh, Pasupa. Sorry, he put in the chat. Okay, he's come. Yes, he's coming. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I'm back finally. Your microphone. Sorry for okay. the mess. <laughs> All right. Okay, sure, um, sure. Why not? We are okay. here. Um, good afternoon uh, again. Um, my name is Masam Rit. And okay, I will share my presentation. Here we go. Yeah, about my top, um, as you know, I'm at this um, and do music. And yeah, here's my topic is about, uh, it's the symphony of Thai cooking, uh, the sound elements of Thai cookery. So uh, before before that, please see the, the clip, uh, see the video, intro, introduction video. What? Can you see the video? I, I, I'm not sure. Not yet. Oh my God. Ah. Can you click share the screen again? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I just wondering why, why the screen is disappeared. I, I mean, I mean, I mean the share screen. Oh my God. Mm. Matt Samrit, are you there? Okay, I think he has um, some problem with his equipment. So we are waiting for him like for a while to come back again. Okay. Um, wait, please advise. Is there any questions you want to raise? Oh, you come back. again? Oh, oh are you okay. sure? You, you Can you share the screen now? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. okay now, now start start with my, okay. with my introduction video. Sorry for that. Okay. Uh, audio missing. Missing? The Cannot... sound is quite low. Oh my God, sorry. Cannot hear the sound. Uh, wait a second. Oh, I forgot to share the sound. There you go. Oh, sorry, I should start with the first one. We can't see the screen. I don't know. Let's a second. Okay, okay, it's come. Ah, it's coming. Okay, okay. So this is my work, the symphony of Thai cooking. So um, here we go. Okay, first, um, food is a reflection of culture. And uh, 
um, for for example, for how how? Thank you, so at the last of read, do you have presentation? Do yes, have I have. Presentation? Uh, is um maybe it's maybe it's quite or? it's it's a, a bit okay, a bit okay. long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. How 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 the food is reflection culture? So uh, first is this. If you see, it's just uh, um, when the time of uh, Marco Polo, when they are, uh, when he visit the chi, uh, chi, chi, China, and um, he bring back bring bring the uh, bring noodle back to to his homeland, and it becomes spaghetti in in nowadays, and um, and this is look like a normal fried rice, but it's contained with a historical issue. For um, this fried rice is Thai food. But we 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 call it American fried rice because it's made from uh, like a um, from a, Amer, Amer, from um, ketchup, raisin, sausage, because it, because it's um, in the time of World War Two, uh, when American army set up their base in Thailand, they uh, also bring their food and their ingredients, and sometimes they use it to trade. So that's why we have a, an opportunity opportunity to to uh, use it and the last example is um yeah we all we, we thai people love sticky rice we love right we, we love sticky rice we always pairing things with with it with with, with the food maybe for example like a, a grilled beef chicken or even mango or maybe ice cream we we, we can mash it with with sticky rice so uh now Right, right now we like uh, um, have a rush, rush life. So yeah, it's become like a hamburger. Uh, so it's changed shape, a shape form to like a hamburger like this. Okay, kitchen is a uh, where the food prepare and cook an important part of family. I believe in 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 in, chi in China as well, and um, yeah, it's it's where. But where the activity in 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 the family is um, um, happened, and for the objective of this research is um, first is to extract the significance of Thai cooking sound from the study from from studies the sound element of Thai cooking, and um, second is to collect anal and analyze sound element of Thai cooking as a data collection, and. Third is uh, to create an appropriate artwork, which could be explained in the, about the culture. And to, and last one is to build up and extend the culture value of Thai food to the people. So let's talk about extend uh, culture value. So um, for example, culture value is, um, for, for example, you, you can make what just normal, normal um, watermelon and you can decorate it, so it's it's make make it have more like a va variable, and uh, this example is from uh, Korea. It's not 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 type of performance. It's, it's it's about about cooking, per per cooking performance in Korean, and this one you know in animation the ratatouille, and yeah we. We, we call Brick Gang. It's about uh, it's it's movie about Thai food. Okay, first methodology. Um, first I I def I f first I definitely have no idea when 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 I go going to 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 work with it. But uh, um, the first good good first start is just yeah just go, go. So I go go to a observation. Um, actually um, my. Um, it, this is my 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 family business. Uh, uh, I, I so that's why I have a like canteen. So I I go to observe first, and or maybe some sometime I play around with uh, like um, experiment with with a um, with electronic things. Or uh, but but this one I I I I go to a uh, collect a sound a sound from from when when I I. I prepare a cook and and I I collect a sound. Um, wait a second, maybe I should show 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 some video for you. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, my bad. Here you go. So this is a sound what I collect from 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 this experiment. We can't hear it. Oh really? Uh, oh yeah. my bad again. Okay. But Sam are you yes. there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, um, I think you can continue with the presentation instead because Hi. we have a little bit of time. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah it's all right. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Okay, get back to the presentation. Uh, so what what I get is a sound. Cook, I, I I got a cooking sound. It could be narrative some things. And can you yeah. share the screen again? We we can't see it. Does this show up yet? I I, I already yeah. shared. No, it doesn't show up. Really. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Okay, place chair again. Is it, is it show up yet? Uh, not yet. Hmm. Well, it's not sure. Okay, it's show up now. Oh, finally. Yeah, cooking sound narrative, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, may, maybe maybe I keep continue with with, with my slides, and after that, yeah, I yeah. will open a video yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. So, um, cooking cooking styles could be narrative something, and uh, I got I, I so so that I find find some like um let F, F and PhD. I, I so I have to find some theory, and uh, this is a relation the length uh the Relation of language to material from si Simon Emerson. Um, the so is the the sound itself have 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 like um that they, they they could they could they could be narrative something and uh, and I think I I going to collect it and um, show um I I I I have to find how how to I. How how to uh, categorize it by use use the theory from like a uh, he, he is an architect uh, um, German architect so Southwell so we got like keynote uh, keynote sound sound signal sound mark and so I design my methodology like this first part is exploring second part is 
practicing and create the artwork. <clears throat> so first, I, I what what I try I go, I go to I correct everything. I correct from like a kitchen equipment, and also in 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 the, in the factory canteen as well. So what I realize is um, people is 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 culture because if we, if we have society, like um, it's 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 create cultures. So I go I go five some out five five more about um yeah I go to field recording on street Thai street food. So uh, this is Serum Road, Kosan Road, local market. Yeah, it's just some some random local market and yeah mo most of them have like um oh this one is um chinatown so what i got from data collection is uh, i found some unique element and unique some unique sound environment but unfortunately some some of the sound on the field recording is too noisy and yeah not possibility not possible to use so what i try to uh, categorize it. Uh, this, the the cooking sound is 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 in the part of um, south environment as well. So what I should do, I have to like uh, split it out and a uh, rec recording individual. So I got new my, my new methodology. First is like um, I got few that few data recording, and go I go to maybe like a uh, co collect it and categorize it and re-record re it and, and uh, individual element and group it. After that, uh, I, I will have res two results. First, um, sec maybe talk about first, uh, second result first. Um, for, uh, second result, I got like a set of sound elements and first result I got, um, yeah, I got, I, 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 should, I could play around with it play around play around with it experiment and create an artwork so what I could uh, categorize is um they, they have a lot of sound what I can um, categorize it and analyze it so um, so I what what I do is um, they, they have two state of of cooking first is preparing and mix everything up it by cooking. So uh, yeah, and um, which I ca uh, categorize it. So I go recording more more to rec recording sound element, but um, they have a lot of may that that I in Thailand have we we have a lot of ditch. So what I try is I try to. Um, by like um, m maybe something to focus like in BBC Good Food, I, I what what I found uh, is a, Thai, a top ten top ten food to try in Thailand, and this is um, the list. First, pad Thai, the rice noodles, stir fries, and tom yum, lab, khao soi, som tam, pad gra pao, green curry, yum, gai yang, and khao khao pad. Okay. And so what I start, I, I start to recording in the indi individual element in for, uh, the menu uh, of F every dish like this. And yeah, this is a recording with the well known Thai dish, so element. Actually, I have example, but I don't want to mess again. So maybe I open it later. Mm -hmm. For the experimental and creation of artwork, um, idea is a. Uh, I, I got I got the idea from I, when when I have a cross project with Tokyo Gedai. Um, is a uh, uh, we 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 have to explore and um, we go to uh, see around the the, the museum Siam and we got some like a uh, uh, the evolution of uh in in thailand every actually tuk tuk is from 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 um uh from japan and yeah it's it's come, come to thailand develop 
to um to to now to nowadays so i think it's culture is like a mix up so we 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 did something like with uh sorry sorry for not 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 a good this is not a good illustration but yeah it's just experiment in half half an hours so what i think um thailand is multicultural society so we have a lot of a uh, nation in 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 our country actually like uh, we have um indian com mon and um chinese as well and and as i told you food is a reflection of culture so the keyword of my my work should be a uh, variety fascinating and beautiful so what what i play around is um work work on work on the key concept So what I did is um, I did I did I did a lot of things like a like a moving image the the cooking symphony which you already see and uh, yeah this one is magic model what I what I did the is actually I used I used the sound element of of green papaya salad uh, to to make to make the video art so. Uh, but uh, another thing I do, I do some music composition, which um, maybe I will show later, and some sound art pieces. And um, this is my um, some of sound pieces. The electronic is is an electronic acoustic sound composition. Um, and after that, as I after I got a lot of art piece which i could use in my my exhibition so i built an exhibition uh like this so um i for for the concept i try to make 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 my my uh, sound installation art is like um, very clear and don't i don't want visual to uh, disturb my my sound so when when the people look at my uh, listen my work, so it should be like this. The result and conclusion of my work is um, yeah, first is to exhibit the significant of Thai cooking style from studying elements of Thai cooking, a woman style. What I got, yes, it is the 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 category uh, the set of the Thai Thai cooking style. And um, yeah, the set of Thai cooking style. What I what I already uh, analyzed it, and like the style, like um, as I told you, is is what what I collect is just top top ten food uh, to try in Thailand, and create an appropriate artwork which explains about culture. Um, the 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 cooking symphony you already see first. Um, it's actually some of my work, but I, I, I cannot show, show show off my work because and maybe we don't have much terms. And yeah, after that, I create the uh, exhibition. And yeah, that's it. About, uh, yeah, that's all about my work. Thank you oh. uh, for your impressive Thank talk. You. And I'm not sure if there are some questions here or not, but uh, what I can see here, just uh, the implement um, from 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 the viewers, and thank you so much for uh, viewing and joining our sessions today. I, I don't think there are some ambiguous questions like the the specific questions uh for this session actually mm, just a compliment so uh, anybody want to leave the message before we leave today like you want to add more dr Pailin, you want to add a little bit more before we leave uh, no just want to say thank you to professor thing and you know beijing institute of fashion, of fashion technology, technology. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that invites us 
yeah. to join the events. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's very grateful uh, to to be a part of this. Uh, uh, very nice and a wonderful uh, and wonderful sessions as a part of the Life Jam Design Marathon for this year. Uh, this year is quite like uh, a little bit different from from previously because it's going to be online and something wrong with uh, our our internet connection, anything related to a technological thing, right? So anybody want to want, want to leave the message, Dimitri and Janma Samrit or uh, Ajana Ratib before we leave? <laughs> No. That means everything is clear. <laughs> yes. Okay. That means everything is clear, right? Okay. Thank you so much uh, for the wonderful horse uh, that provides us the system and everything for today's sessions. And uh, the most important thing is that uh, our honor guest speakers, leading by Dr. Pailin Tawan, we did. ขอบคุณครับอาจารย์ <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, thank you so much for all the viewers and the host for uh, this year uh, 2020 design day a uh, life jam design marathon thank you so much and uh, if everything is uh, better and the situation of COVID uh, is going well and then everyone staying safe. We can get back and see you each other again uh, next year, uh, physically, hopefully, in yeah, Beijing. Hopefully. Or even <laughs> we, we, we can host uh, the designed events like this in Thailand as a host. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Good evening. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.